So you've been asked to join a WebEx meeting, but you've never been in one, you've never done a WebEx meeting, you don't know where to get started, right? Uh, we're going to go through in this episode a number of ways that you can join meetings from uh, a Windows machine um, because you, there are a number of different ways you could get invited into a meeting. So I want to show you a couple of the different common ways that you could be invited into a meeting. Okay, so first, if you've, uh, if you've not seen any of my other videos, one thing you need to know is there's a difference between a scheduled WebEx meeting and a personal room. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll get an invite to a personal room where they just give you a link, you come join the meeting. So we're going to start with that. Um, I'm going to open up uh, my email here. I, I'm logged in as Jane Zumwalt today, just as, as a demo. And her brother John is hosting a meeting and wants her to join in. So he sent her an email. He said, hey, I've got a meeting in my personal room at 11 that I'd like you to join in, so just click the link. That's really all you have to do from a Windows machine. Um, you don't have to have something already installed, anything like that. Um, when you click on the link, you're going to see down here at the bottom that it downloaded a, a WebEx app. It's just a really light app that lets you join the meeting. So I'm going to click on that now that it's downloaded. Um, and it's going to load. It's going to install some drivers and things like that that's going to make the meeting work the best way possible for you. And then it's going to ask me if I want to join into the meeting once that's done and installed. So now we see that um, it's asking for name and email address. Uh, for name, I can put in whatever I want to. I'm just going to make it a little bit cleaner here. And then email address, I'll use my, my district email. You can use whatever you want to here and click next. Don't You don't have to do a Google login, anything like that. Um, the first time that you use WebEx, it's going to um, want to show you around. It's kind of the, the intro tour sort of thing. So we're going to skip that and we're in. Um, now, I can turn on my microphone. I can turn on my webcam if I'm sitting at a laptop uh, and I can join the meeting. I'm going to turn off my, my microphone and webcam here just so it doesn't interfere with the recording that I'm doing for you. But you can turn those on and I'm going to join the meeting. Okay, so now I've joined the meeting. Uh, the thing that the host wants to share, I'm going to be able to see that. So if they were showing their webcam, I would see that on the screen. Um, let me turn on John's webcam just so you can see what that looks like. And there you can see me because I'm talking into the webcam as if I was John in the meeting. So you'll be able to see him. If he shares his screen, uh, you'll be able to see that. Anything that is displayed across the meeting you're going to be able to see all of that in the in the meeting while you're in it. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's say you got a calendar invite, uh, and you would get an email for that. And you can see here in my inbox, I've got an email invitation, and I can say yes or no that I'll make it. So this would be a scheduled meeting that's sometime in the future. When that date comes, I can either look at this email, or when I go to my calendar, I see that scheduled meeting on my calendar. So I don't have to do anything except click on join WebEx meeting at that time on my calendar invite. Um, when it asks, yes, I want to open the Cisco WebEx meeting. Um, that is going to, if you've never used it before, remember it's going to download that app to run the first time. We already had it installed, so we don't have to worry about it. And this looks essentially exactly the same. We're going to join the meeting and then we're right in here. And if I had my webcam and microphone on, everyone would be able to hear me and I would be in the meeting good to go. Okay, the last option I want to show you is uh, let's let's say that you're having trouble with your laptop or you've got a desktop and you don't have a webcam and a microphone, anything like that, or um, you just don't want to use a computer, or you want to be able to just call in. So that's really easy as well. Um, when you're sent an invite, in the invitation, um, there is an option here to join by phone. So in a calendar invite here in the email or on the calendar itself, if you open that, you can see a phone number. Make sure you take note of the access code that's right underneath of that. If you don't have a computer at all, you can get the same information from email or the calendar on your phone. You'd have the same kind of info to work with. Um, so you can call that number, enter that access code, and you won't be able to see anything but you'll be able to hear and participate in the entire conversation through audio just using a standard telephone. Okay, the final option I want to show you is if you are on your phone um, or a tablet, whatever you have, 
um, but you don't have access to a computer and you still want to join the video call, um, what you can do is download, whether it's Android or Apple, from your, your app store, download the WebEx Meet app. And you can see that right here. It's going to be the, the blue circle with the green inside of it. Uh, when you download that app, it's going to make it available to meet over WebEx on your phone. And if you click on that link in your email or that calendar invite, it's going to take you right in and open the WebEx Meet app for it. Um, if they sent you a, a URL for that personal meeting room, um, you can use that too. Uh, let me open up the WebEx Meet app here. Um, by default, you do not have to sign in just to join a meeting. Really, sign in is only if you want to be the host for a meeting and manage it from there. Um, you don't have to worry about that because you're just joining a meeting. Um, I'm going to join uh, John's personal room because I had shared that out earlier. Um, and it, there's a link. It's going to be fcsd.webex.com slash meet slash, in this case, it'll be John Zumwalt's entire username. Um, it, whoever you're, you're having your meeting with, that's who is going to provide you that link. So that last part, that username, is going to be different depending on who sent you the link. And then again, you would fill in your information. So I'll put in Jane, and I'm just going to leave the email address for now. You can fill those in. Really, that's not important except for the name. The name is important for the, the person hosting the meeting to see who's joining in. So I'm going to click the Join button. And I am going to turn off my webcam and microphone just so that, again, we don't have any feedback going here. And I'm going to click on join. And then we're going to join into John Zumwalt's personal meeting. Okay, that covers some quick and easy ways to show you how to join a meeting from both Windows, from uh, your phone, using just a dial-in, using the app, a lot of different ways that you can get in there. Hopefully this covers all the, those kind of variables. Um, if you need help at any point in time, email us. Uh, our help desk is open and ready to assist. Uh, and good luck out there. Let me know what you think. Leave uh, any comments or ideas out on the YouTube video. And have a great day.